Yo guys, this is called the incliner here. About to do that. Hey, you guys want to introduce yourself? I got so. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're about to climb the incline, and uh, I just want to introduce you guys to some new friends I made. This is my friend Daniel Ray, which you're probably gonna hear me call Ray more often. And this is his girlfriend Rachel. Hi. So I'm already kind of feeling the elevation. <laughs> I'm not used to it. And I'm kind of taking already some deep breaths and stuff. But let's see how it goes. I'll be sure to bring you guys along, so stay tuned. Damn, you guys are just killing it. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> Seriously. Very, very tiring. We just started too, so. This is like the Stairmaster times 10 with no breathable air around you. So. Just imagine that. Oh, can you hear me breathing? <clears throat> I don't know how this man's living. I don't. Really, don't do this when you're older. I was told that right there. That is not the top. Okay, now it's time for some water. Right, right? Agua. For life. <laughs> it's water Spanish. In case y'all guys didn't know. I'm pretty sure if they follow your channel, I'm pretty sure they know a little bit of Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe doing this long enough, maybe if I help my calves grow, dude. Yeah, calf, boy. Finally wore the wrong shoes today. Feeling it. Feeling frail. Haven't eaten. Just one protein bar. I'm done, I'm ready to go eat. But let's check out the view. I bet on camera this doesn't look too bad, but Trust me, in person, completely, completely different story. Just wish like a parachute. Parachute, I wish like a plane would just come out and swoop me out of here. Crazy. Check that out. I can literally see the base from here, guys. It's crazy. That bear craw, bear craw drill in. So, you do a lot of thinking when you're climbing these stairs. And uh, exactly, why do we do this? But something that popped into my head was I got legs today, and uh, doing this stairway to heaven sort of thing. Heaven, uh, scratch that. I mean hell. Water break. Numero dos. Well, I have to see one positive thing out of this. Hit my cardio for the month. Whoa. Almost let me eat it there. About to turn this camera off. Oh, each in the end. You're done, baby. Wait for Ray. Yeah. Everyone killing it. You go, Ray. You done, bro? What do you think about this, Ray? Oh, worth it. Rachel? Great experience. Yeah. It'll happen again. Yeah, it was absolutely a great experience. I want to thank Ray and Rachel for bringing me out here because they're amazing people. But. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not too sure where exactly we're going to do yet, but we're going to rest for a little bit because that was exhausting and uh, bring you guys along. So, see you guys soon. There it is.
base exchange. It's like a Target in here. Wow. Actually, my second time strolling through this store, so still further than you. Currently looking for some eye drops because my eyes, look at this. They're like super red. They've been red for a couple of days. My gosh, I know I'm in Colorado, but a little small. What? I'm convinced someone is cutting their grass in here. Someone has to be mowing their lawn in this store. There's no way. There's no way. And you're probably wondering, what am I doing? Well, this is some Glade Hawaiian Breeze powder. For carpet, it like gets deep down into the powder and eliminates odors and stuff. Don't I sound like I'm in a commercial? Anyway, I'm gonna let this sit while I'm at the gym. And uh, it's not that my carpet smelled, I just love a fresh room. Like I told you guys, I'm very like tidy. And as far as hygiene and stuff like that, I'm very hygienic and I'm very tidy. So I like things spick and spank. And um, as you can see, my room is not all that right now, but I'll give you guys a really good tour of it whenever the time comes, but I just thought I'd share that with you guys in case you guys ever need a fresh smelling room. Key. Wow, I put a little too much. I can feel it running down my cheeks. But hopefully my eye redness goes away because how does it look? Does it look better? And it looks like I've been crying for like 20 days. Look at this. Damn, I don't know what it could be. I think I just need to catch up on my sleep. I haven't been sleeping all that good lately. And I'm um, really hoping I can crash in tomorrow because then I start my 24 hour shifts. If you guys don't know, I'm a firefighter. Uh, I start 24 hour shifts uh, this coming Thursday. Hopefully this video is up by then. And um, yeah, it's 24 hours working consecutively and then 24 hours off, 24 back hours on. That's gonna be my shift. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm ready to get things rolling, get the ball started, and just excel at my career as much as I can and really show everyone around me that I'm here to learn, I'm here to absorb everything. And I'm, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make mistakes and that's just how we are, you know? We, we learn through mistakes, you know? So I'm just eager. I'm not too eager to where I am want to get in there aggressively and just in a negative way, I'm not eager, eagerly, you know what I mean? But I'm eager to learn, I'm eager to absorb step by step and just really excel in a positive way. So let's get to the gym. But before that, let's get our pre-workout and our ghost ready. So oh guys, I'm currently back using my Gorilla Pod, which is that little one with the beads. Kind of looks funny, you know. <laughs> and it feels it feels completely different than that new tripod I got, the large one. But I'm back here looking for my tripod attachment in my truck. Nope. Oh, there's some gum. Where is it? Here you are. What? Yeah, like I said, I need to vacuum my damn truck. So, a huge key benefit. Oh yeah, we're on our way to the gym right now. As you can tell, I say, I say we're on our way to the gym and I'm not even driving because a huge key benefit of my room, one, it's right here, right there. It's on the first floor, which is epic. That means I don't have to carry anything upstairs, no grocery bags, nothing upstairs, which is perfect. And the gym is right next door, which is crazy. Like, I love it. Look, how, look at, that's the gym ready. That's the gym. Right there. Dorms. Gym. Dorms. Gym. So, I don't know why I get so freaking amped up. Like, I love it. I love coming to the damn gym. You guys might think I'm crazy watching my videos. But, it's okay. I mean, thank you for taking time out of your day, by the way. Or on our way hopefully it's open man yesterday they closed at 10 so I was rushing to get a workout and I got there like at 8 30 gosh but we're gonna make most of it 
legs. And this is the attachment I went back to my truck for, for my big tripod. Thought I lost it. Thank God. Anyway, let's get inside this gym. Give you guys a freaking tour. It's amazing. Wow. All I can say is freaking wow. Came to the gym. It's locked. It's freaking locked. I think I'm gonna go hit 24 hour fitness. Got a three day pass. So hopefully I get it. Work out in there. And uh, I wasn't looking forward to going off base again. It's because the drive is so far. But damn, I'm, I'm freaking upset, man. I already took a pre workout. I knew I should have came and checked the hours. Anyway. So let's roll out. Let's roll off base. Probably thinking I'm overdoing it. I'm going to try to catch a workout somewhere else. But you got to do what you got to do. <sighs> let's get it. I'm not too sure if you guys can tell, but there's snow on top of that mountain cap over there. I don't think I could get over how beautiful this is, honestly. Like Colorado. I'm so, I'm so glad I got stationed here, honestly. Super glad. Is it just me or does this Chipotle look like super fancy? What? Yo, let's kill it. Let's just get this workout in, man. I really want to work out. I really want to work out. Well, this pre-workout in me, man. 30 minute drive, gosh. I'm about to start bench pressing steering wheel of my truck okay sorry sorry for the cursing let me beep that out real quick we don't we don't cuss on my channel so guess what they let me in wow the lady at the front desk was super awesome she was like completely understandable about how my base gym was closed and she was just so awesome and friendly so if you're watching this which i highly doubt this ma'am but i don't know your name if you're watching this i want to truly thank you so much because that means a lot Anyway, I feel like getting some heavy squats in. So we're about to do that and I'll see you guys. Yo, so like I'm super hyped about getting this super like workout in, you know what I mean? And then I reach into my bag and reach into my bag, no earphones. What is going on? What the freak, man? If it's not one thing, it's another. We're still gonna have a great workout. No doubt about it. I'm just gonna play music out loud. Hopefully no one minds. So. Man, gotta do what you gotta do. So what's going on guys? So we just finished out the workout. We started off with some back squats. And I know you guys know that I said I was gonna lift heavy today. And for me, two seven, from 255, 245 to 275, that's my heavy rep ranges. Um, getting, getting usually six to eight reps. I'm currently on that program. And you guys, some of you guys might not, might not think that's so much, but um, if you keep in mind, I'm in a caloric deficit at the moment, and uh, I'm pretty sure once I get out of this, I'm, I'm really going to just skyrocket on my squat. That's one of my things I really want to improve on. And also, it was just I feel like those knee sleeves, again, they would just come in handy. It's not for more for performance, but I feel it just keep me warm and just overall better stimulation. Decided to hit another variation of leg press. But if you look at if you look at the way my feet are positioned, I'm I'm using a lot of the weight on my heels, and uh, I wasn't going s extremely heavy. I was going for 10 to 12 reps. That way I can just mind muscle connect with my glutes and really emphasize the glute stimulation on this workout. And sometimes I'm I'm not too sure if you can see it, but if you look closely, my eyes are closed. That way I can just mind muscle connect. That helps me personally. You might want to give it a shot if it, if it might help you get your mind muscle connection down then I moved on to some leg extensions and uh, I think a pretty cool thing about this machine it's like futuristic it looks really futuristic because every time I extend my leg out it the machine the whole machine moves and I've never had that before so it's kind of cool something new to try and uh, also if you notice I'm not having my knee fully fully locked out at the top it's more like a three quarters but I'm really controlling the negative and uh, really engaging with the muscle. That way it helps eliminate less knee pain in the future. And then we finally moved on to some leg curls. Leg curls felt great to the machine. Again, futuristic 25th century something. 
so we moved on to that and uh, machine was moving and I, I was going if you can tell slight pause at the very bottom controlling the negative all the way up okay so to finish that off I had a great workout and um, it might have been just like a mental thing I was mentally prepared you guys saw I was super hyped up to come into the gym and stuff um, I had a great leg workout um, I felt like my muscles were truly engaged today and it might have been from all the hiking you know it might have been just extra blood flow into my muscles and it felt great even though I felt like I was gonna be exhausted after the hike I thought no way I could do legs today then I came in today it's currently 9 30 right now I'm about to hit some abs because I haven't hit them in like a week or two so I really need to get back into it and um, you're probably wondering why didn't you hit calves and to tell you the truth um, I feel like I bruised the bottom of my foot, the ball, but my foot, the thing that helps you raise up when you're doing calves, I f truly felt like I bruised it. I was working calves out quite a bit. I think it was uh, three times a week, and one day it, they just started aching really bad. I, couldn't, I could barely walk on it one day. I just never got around to telling you guys. I could barely walk on my right foot, and I'm trying to just refrain from putting more pressure on that ball of my foot. Woo! <laughs> Look where we're at, guys. Look where we're at. One uh, ice cream cone. And that that's the beauty of tracking macros, eating ice cream. Don't neglect your micros, though. I had plenty of vegetables and fruit today, so decided to treat myself with some ice cream and uh, some Chick-fil-A nuggets. Hi there. Hi, ma'am. How you doing? Doing well. How are you? Perfect. Thank you. Eight pounds and a small ice cream cone. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Have a wonderful night, ma'am. Thank, Thank you very much. Mm. I feel like we all need to learn how to track macros because, like, the world would be like a much healthier place if everyone knew how to track macros and everyone, of course, wanted to track macros, but people don't have the time. Well, it's not that people don't have the time. We do have the time. People just don't want to make the time to do it. And it literally takes like five seconds to put, input it in your phone. But, mmm, gosh. This is amazing macros, by the way. I think it's 31 carb, six fat, and uh, six protein. Do not quote me, but I'll put the whole meal, I'll put the macros to the whole meal right here right here read that you see that great macros great freaking macros why are my eyes so freaking red I don't have allergies so I think I don't they don't itch anyway I'm gonna head off to bed I probably need some rest and that's probably gonna be you know what? I'll carry I'll, I'll carry this on to tomorrow ready six months later morning it's currently wait hold on okay it's currently 10 30 a.m. and uh, I went to bed around 1 30 so I got an awesome amount of sleep I'm so glad I just felt fully recovered all this past week with traveling and all that stuff I haven't really got the chance to so it felt absolutely amazing to sleep in but it's kind of late, so let's get on with the day. What's good, MTV? My name is Randy Gandhu, and welcome to my crib. So before we head on, we're, before we head on to this room, we're gonna head to go check out the whips because nothing is complete. Your crib is not complete without a whip. So let's nope, go. We got the miraculous 2002 Dodge Ram 1500. V8 coming all the way from Texas So coming all the way from Texas and of course you need to wash But we got the black emblems on her right now Then we have this sweet attachment that we added which was this black toolbox Unbelievable. I can't believe that this is my truck and she needs a little little wash So I'm gonna take her to the spa very soon and get her cleaned up 
again some more black emblems then we come to the front and the thing that sticks out the most these halo lights right there wait 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 we got the alarm wow nice all right so let's get started with the bedroom so we're sitting in the bedroom slash living room slash office slash everything in the whole house in one so right here bam we got this nice huge twin size bed and you guys are probably thinking damn you have great taste in color scheme well thank you to my sister got me those sweet sheets anyway and then we're moving on over here we we got this setup perfect setup this nice 36 inch flat screen tv heck yeah some drawers and dressers no one can beat this. I probably have the best setup, honestly. Probably the best setup in the dorms. So now we're moving on to this desk over here. And this is where I spent countless hours grinding, watching YouTube, and messing around on this laptop right here. This MacBook Pro. It's like a limited edition. So if you really want a MacBook Pro, be sure to go to the Apple Store and get you one. Then we got this nice, huge, antique setup with this lamp. Check this out, check this out. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa. One, two, three. Damn, man. Look at that. The flip of your finger. Hey, dude. So we're now here on my little restroom area. And I say restroom area because there's not a bathroom. There's no toilet or a shower or anything. So I have a nice little setup here. Nice and... Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I got everything set up here, and uh, this is where I like to keep all my hygiene at. So to start off, I got my dresser right here. And I have basically like my socks and my underwear and all that stuff. All the colors of the rainbow. Crazy, crazy. I like to have everything organized. So I have all my shirts all up in this area. Of course, you got your Alpha Lead, you got your Ralph, you got H&M. You know, you got a little bit of everything. You gotta have a little bit of everything. And I got my crew skills kicking back right here. Also like to hang up my jeans, just because, I don't know, I feel like it's a better presentation, hanging them up, and it's much easier to just see which ones you wanna grab instead of fondling, fondling them in a drawer. <laughs> and then I have my backpacks hung up, my, my work bag, this is my gym bag. Got a nice little freaking, Laundry basket there? Yeah, laundry basket. Then I got my daily runners, which are these shoes right here, these two, and of course, gym shoes. Then I got my combat boots, which are for work. And I like strolling around my dorm with these Nikes slides. And then I have some pre-workout stuff. And then my shaker cups, BCAs, protein, vitamins. And then we're moving up to my camera gear some hats and some food and you're probably wondering why do you have food up there well I share a kitchen area with another guy so just to like play things safe I like to keep my good food not my good food but like my stuff that's easily shareable in my room so it's time for you guys to get on out of here because I gotta get to work not work but I gotta go eat some breakfast because I'm starving and we're gonna hit the gym so be sure to stick along for this and later is MTV. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace. And you say that I'm crying for you. I heard you whispering. No, I just feel sorry for you. If that's what you think, then talk about.